imagine it's 1400 years ago. It's the 9th of Muharram. You're in your tent at night and you hear noises from outside. So you leave your tent to see what's happening outside and you see people leaving the camp of Imam Sayyid Looking around at everyone for a split second, your eyes fall onto the face of Imam Sayyid You see the sadness and sorrow in his face. There and then, you, Mehdi, decide you're going to stay, knowing that tomorrow is going to be Ashura. So the morning comes, it's now the 10th of Muharram, the day of Ashura, and you've now become the 73rd companion of Imam Hussain. Imagine you walk up to the Imam and you say to him, I want to help you. How can I help you? And the Imam lets you decide. So for example, knowing what you know of that day, you could go and get water with Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas salam. You could play with the children to keep them busy so they forget that their dads or brothers or uncles are in the battlefield. You could go and fight in the army of Imam Hussain against the enemy. You could protect the tents of the women. You could help nurse the wounded. You could do whatever you like from that day. What would you want to do? I would want to help get water with Abu Fadl Abbas. Why, why water? Why Abu Fadl Abbas? So, if when he's getting water, and then he's coming back, and there's bad people behind the tree with swords with poison in them, and they try to kill him, he wouldn't be all by himself. So I could help him, and he could get more water if there are two people. So it wouldn't. Why would you go with him if you knew you were going to die? Because I would risk my life to do anything good for people. And I wouldn't just let them die or something, let something happen to them. Now imagine You've had a long day at school. You get picked up by your uncle. He drives you home to your house and he opens the door. You walk in and you see your family running around the house, all of them busy. One person's making fruit, another person's bringing sweets, another person's got tea ready. So to you, it looks like you've got guests. So you go and you quickly grab one of them and you say, hey, what's going on? Who's come to see us? And they reply, they haven't come to see us. They've come to see you, Mehdi. So you say, okay, who is it? Maybe it's a friend from school. Maybe it's a friend from down the road. Maybe it's a friend from mosque. And they say, no, no, it's none of those people. They're waiting for you in the living room. So you come to the living room, you open the door, you run inside the room to see who it is. You look and you see sitting there is Imam Sayyid alayhi salam. In that moment, what would you say to him? What would you want him to say to you? I would first ask him if I would ask him why he came to see me and why
why he came to see me on that day. If there's something important and someone needs help, if he needs something. What would you want him to say to you? I would want him to say to me. Would you want him to say to you he's happy with you? Would you want him to say to you he's happy with your family? What would you want to hear from him? What would you make, make you happy to hear from I would, him? I would want him to say something good, like he's happy with my family, if he's happy with me, if everything's okay or something. So now you've sat and talked with Imam Sayyid alayhi salam and he's getting up to leave your house. What would you do then? What would you say to him as a goodbye? I would say um, it was good to talk to you. I hope you come to visit again. So at the beginning, I asked you about 1400 years ago, the very first question. And I said to you, you walk up to the Imam and the Imam says to you, Mehdi, you decide, you pick what you want to help with, what you want to participate in, what place you want to provide your services for. Now that was 1400 years ago. That was Ashura with an Imam who had 72 companions. In this day and age, we have an Imam as well, Imam Mehdi. May Allah fasten his reappearance. And a lot of people often forget that our 12th Imam is here with us. And in a way, him being physically absent from us, so not standing next to us and telling us Mehdi, for example, go and bring me this or go and do that. He's given us the choice in how we want to help him and serve him. So how do you think you've helped the 12th Imam? What do you think you've done for him? What do you think you should do for him? I think... How do you think he feels with you? I would want him to feel with me that I'm being good, nothing's wrong. And I would want him to ask me if I, if I want to join his army and battle. Hayna baqiyatullah, hayna baqiyatullah, hayna baqiyatullah. Ala kiraz khudai, khuda kolad kibia. خدا کنم خدا کنم